Mr. Toastmaster, Toastmasters, honored guests, have you ever said something that you didn't want to say? <laughs> so, so communication, there's a lot more to communication than, than just words. So I'll start with an example. Uh, my son, this was in 2010, my son was 17 years old, he was playing lacrosse, he was driving two of his friends on the lacrosse team and his mom was in the passenger seat through from Tennessee to North Carolina. It's a windy, curvy road and kind of a tight, tight uh, in terms of the side of the road. There's not a lot of room. Icy conditions, they had a flat tire. The coach was right driving behind him, pulls up right behind him. My son gets out of the car, opens the trunk, gets out the spare, starts jacking up the car. The coach says, can I help you? Son says, no, I got this. Son puts the car back together, they go on the way. So communication is perception. So my son's perception was he had learned these things from watching his dad. So that was that communication with him. The other perception was the passenger seat. Do you know what these tires look like? <laughs> my wife was <laughs> Same situation, total different perspective. So communication is more than just words. Uh, another example is abruptness. Right? Many of us here are our parents or around small children. And when you get a two, three-year-old, as a parent, you are broken down to a three-word sentence. No, no, no. <laughs> because one no just doesn't cut it. So, so abruptness at that, at that point, right, children get older and you are the responsible adult. You're supposed to move past that stage. Another example, my sons wanted a video game. They run it really bad. Being the good dad, I got them the video game. Well, the problem is two sons in one game. So this whole back and forth started happening. And really, I, I, I didn't handle the situation well. So at, at one point, I popped open the game console. And these little CD discs, they happen to be made of plastic, and they break very easily. Smash. And so this was, this was abrupt communication. So the things about communication that we can't see, that are described in this diagram, is from the book uh, Speed of Trust by Stephen Covey Jr. So we can't see integrity, you can't see what it is about somebody's character, for example, are they interested in you as a person, or what, what drives you, what's your motivations? What potentially is there is the intent part, right? The, and here it's the trunk of the tree. So it's possible people can see your intent, but you have to, you have to put that intent out there. So in the case of my sons, right, I, I made this abrupt communication by breaking the game. That, that didn't convey my intent. So that, that was my bad on that part. Right? Really, I wanted them to realize that the fact that they're brothers and the importance of them getting along is a lot more important than a piece of plastic. But I, I lost that communication in my abrupt manner. So communication is much more than words. Mr. Postman. Mr. General Evaluator, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests, and especially you, Scott. What a great speech. Honestly, that was your best speech ever. The question was posed, what have we learned? What's important at Toastmasters? I love seeing people like you start clinging to this thing, looking down, talking softly to what speaker you are today. I'm just curious what the people at work must be saying about you now. 
Because now you're comfortable enough to walk around, to leave that, and not grip it like you used to. So that's one thing that just really just thrilled me, is seeing how comfortable you are now. Okay, so I love Stephen Covey books. When you were talking, I was thinking about my library at home and the seven Stephen Covey library books that I have. He's one of my favorite authors. I didn't know his son was also doing motivational writing. So now I have to go on Amazon and get some more books. <laughs> you certainly met your goals. You gauged what the audience knew about communication and you definitely took us to that level. And you used words and stories that we could all relate to and understand. That was very good. Something that you did that was, was your strength in the speech was your gestures. Using body gestures is difficult. You know, we can stand here and we can do these, but when you're using your body and you're getting wide, that's so new for you. So that was one great thing. And another thing, the humor that you sprinkled in there was amazing. You stole my thunder, John Becker. This is another good speech for our humor speech contest. And if you look on your agenda, it's already being mentioned. So I think with some spiciness and some control, I think you could enter this in there and maybe be one of the other people here. Okay, something to try. Metaphors, similes, comparisons. I was listening for some of those things and it really didn't hurt. You could have said, the tire was as flat as a pancake, or your wife was as chatty as a pet store parrot. So give us some of those visuals to take away with us. Uh, and I can hardly wait for the next speech. Thank you much.